Hello and welcome to the third video in this series. This video is all about sessions. So what we last did was create a user signup form where we add a new user to the database. That looks like this. We created a unique ID and we encrypt the password. So what we want to do now is actually create a user session and then redirect them after sign up to the dashboard page. And then we want to make the dashboard page only allow users who are actively logged in. Otherwise, redirect them back to the home page. So let's get started. The first thing we'll do is redirect the user to the dashboard after sign up. So let's go to scripts.js and on error, if something went wrong, we are outputting an error text. On success, let's redirect them. So we'll say window.location.href and this will just be dashboard. So let's save that and test it out. So I will sign up and I get over to the dashboard page. So now let's create a session when the user signs up so that when they get to the dashboard, we can output some of their info. So we'll go back to models.py and let's create a new method in the user class for setting the session. So we'll say this is called start session. We have to pass in self and then we'll pass in a user object. So we're going to set two session variables. The first one will be logged in just to say yes or no, true or false. And the second one will be the user object. And then once the session is set, let's return the success status to the front end from this function. So then down in the signup method, instead of returning this here, we can just return our new start session method. So since we're in a class, we need to type self.startSession. Self refers to the class instance, so we're getting a method within the class instance. And then we're going to pass in our new user object, which is this. And we actually need to return this method. So let's test this out. We'll go back to the home page and sign up again. Let's open the console so we can see if anything goes wrong and press sign up. And we do have an error. Name session is not defined. So we are trying to set up a session, but the app doesn't know what session is. So we have to import this from Flask. All right, we'll go back here and I'll just create a new email address and submit. Next error, the session is unavailable because no secret key was set. Okay, so in order to use sessions in Flask, the app has to have a secret key. So we'll go to app.py and under the app creation line, we'll say app.secretKey. Now you could put any random string here, but we want to create something pretty unique. So we're going to use Python to generate one for us. So let's open up the terminal and just run this. Python C import OS print OS U random 16. You don't have to worry about this. If you just type this out and enter, you will get a randomized binary string. So copy that and paste it in. So let's test this again on the front end, sign up. We get yet another error. The email address is already in use, right? Because it went through into the database, but then ran into an error. So let's create a new email address. And there we go, we've signed up. We're back to the dashboard. Hopefully we've created a session. Let's test if there's a session by trying to output the session contents to this dashboard page. So we'll go to dashboard.html and let's just output the session data here. We'll say session 
logged in. Let's see what this says. True. Cool. Let's do session user. Just output the whole user object from the session. And there we go. We have the ID, the email, the name, the password. We probably don't want the password in the session. So let's remove that. Let's go back to models.py. And in our start session method, let's delete password from the user object before we save it to the session, which we do here on this line. So as the first line, we'll say DEL for delete user password. All right, so before we can test this, we have to destroy the existing session we have. So let's just create a sign out function right now. So under sign up, let's create a new class method called sign out. Pass in self. And here we'll type session.clear. And then why don't we also return the user to the home page? Now that we have this method on the class, let's create a route for the sign out function. So we'll go to routes.py and create a new app route, user slash sign out. And then we're going to return a new user class instance and the sign out method. So let's save that, go back to the browser and manually go to this address, user slash sign out. Redirect is not defined. So once again, if we want to use redirect, which we haven't used yet in models.py, we have to import it from Flask. So save that and refresh. And there we go. We've been redirected back to the homepage. So let's sign up again. And there we go. The session data just returns the user's ID, their email, and their name, not their password. So one thing which is not ideal is that we can get to the dashboard page even if we aren't logged in. We can test that by logging out or signing out, we called it, and then going back to the dashboard page. So we can get here, there's no session, but we shouldn't even be able to get to the dashboard if we're not logged in. So let's fix that. Let's go to app.py. And here we have our two main routes. We have the home page and then we have the dashboard page. So we're going to create a decorator function and I'll explain that as we go. First, let's create it up here. So we're going to call it login required. And how this works is this function login required is going to be passed in a function. And in this case, this will be our dashboard render function here. We'll perform some logic and then decide whether or not we want to let it go through here or intercept and do something else. In this case, based on whether or not the user is logged in. So just type this out with me. So if the user is logged in, so if logged in is in the session, return the original function that they were trying to access. Otherwise, redirect them to the homepage. So how we use this is by typing at login required. And this is in between the name of the route and the functionality of the route. So this intercepts and then it will perform this logic. It will check if the user is logged in. So if logged in is in the session, if so, it'll let it go through and do what it's going to do, which in this case is render the dashboard template. Otherwise it will redirect 
and go right back to the home page and skip all of this. So let's test this out. We'll go back to the dashboard and refresh. Wraps is not defined. All right, so here we're using wraps, so we need to import that. That should fix it. Let's test it out. We're on the dashboard route, refresh, session is not defined. All right, let's import session from Flask and try again. Redirect, let's import redirect from Flask. And there we go, we've been redirected to the home page. Let's test it one more time. Try to go to dashboard, redirected to home because we're not logged in. So let's sign up again and see if it works. All right, args is not defined. I must have made a typo. Let's check that out in app.py. Yes, this needs to be args, not arg. And there we go. We've reached the dashboard with our session. And then we can log back out. All right, one final thing I want to do in this video is add a bit more info to the dashboard. So let's create a new account real quick. And let's spruce this up a little bit. So let's go to the dashboard template and make this look a bit better. So this will say you are currently logged in. And then let's add a logout button so we don't have to keep typing it into the browser URL bar. So this button will just go to slash user slash sign out. It will say sign out. And let's give it a class of button. But let's make it a secondary button, a gray button. So we'll do button dash dash secondary. So that's card number one. We'll create one more card here just to output some of the user's information. So we'll create a paragraph here with a few bits of their info. So the first one will be their ID and this will be the session user object and then we'll get the ID from that. So I'll copy this a few times. This will be their name and this will be their email. Let's test it out. All right, that's looking a bit better. So they've created an account, they are now logged in. Here's their profile information and then they can sign out with the click of a button. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.